What were you shooting? Nothing. Put drugs inside of them and reseal them. That way it conceals the drugs and looks like it's just Kool-Aid packets. He hit me across the chest and I asked him to stop. Please stop. What's that? Huh? Candies. Candies. Candies, huh? <laughs> Funny. Okay, right now we're uh, rolling on scene to a house. A guy's shooting out in his front yard. When the units just pulled up, he ran inside. Set up in the back. There's the apartment. Watch the window. Sheriff's apartment, open the door. Okay, he's going down okay, the wall. Okay, he's going down the wall. Sheriff's department. Watch open watch, the door. watch these posts. Watch these posts. He's he's on the other side of the uh he's on the other side of the refrigerator on open the wall. Open the door now, Sheriff's Department. See a gun? Okay, you got someone coming. You see your hands. Let me you see your hands. Me? Yes, you. Open the door all the way and step out. Step out. Step out. What is wrong? Let me see your hands. Step out. Let me see your hands. Hey, Taser. Show taser, your taser, hands. Taser. Let me see your Get hands. your hands up. Let me taser. Taser. Get your hands up. Taser. Taser. We're going to taste you. Go to the ground. Ow. Ow. What, is, what happened? Don't move. Turn over. Turn Come over. Turn over. Cover me, cover me on the hallway. I got, I got it. Over here, Danny, I'm coming up behind you. Taser's free. What are you doing? I'm at 14 priority traffic. Stop moving. Uh, we got one tased. Uh, we're detaining him right now. Detaining me for what? Let me get his hand back. What are you doing? Okay, hold on. Stand up. Good? Right. No, no, no. Stand up. For what? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up for Sir, what? Sir, stand up. For what? Thank you. Walk outside for me. For what? Do you have any I'm weapons on you at all? Uh huh? Do you have any weapons on you at all? No, I don't have any weapons. Okay. What did you do? Yeah. Nothing. I don't know nothing. We'll tell you what happened in a sec. The cat's in the back room. He's fine. Please sit down. Yes, I saw him run back there. What's going on here, sir? What were you shooting? Nothing. What were you outside doing before we showed up and you ran inside? Nothing. So you just ran inside for no reason when the deputy showed up? No, there was no gun shooting outside until you guys shot out. There's a pellet gun? Okay. Were you shooting a pellet gun out front? No. You weren't. So no. there's a pellet gun outside. Somebody called us and said, you're out here shooting a gun. And you're telling me you didn't shoot any gun. There's nothing going on. Can you help me get him in the car? Yeah. Hey, Bonnet, it's a pellet gun. Okay. I found it inside the, uh, where he ran and hit it. There is no man with a gun. No, just a pellet gun, sir. Scaring the heck out of your neighborhood. Deputies went inside, and uh, they found this gun. Guess uh, it's a pellet gun, but from a distance, you know, it could be a rifle. So that's why the neighbors called us. Sounds like he was trying to shoot the light out for some reason. I saw him run behind the wall over there like he's hiding something. How many commands do you think we gave him? At least Tell him to put his, hands up. put his hands <laughs> up. Nothing, huh? Under the door. So well, she walked by the window and saw us, and it was like, you know, nobody was concerned that there was police at their door. If I know if it were my house, I'd be concerned. Yeah, absolutely. So. And for, uh, you know, for our safety, fortunately, we had to, he had to be tased, so. Absolutely. Okay. Ma'am, do you have any idea what's going on? All I know, he's just being stupid because he's been who, drinking Who is day. he to you? He's my, I don't know, we've been together for 20-some years. You oh. tell me. Oh. I don't know. Okay. We're not married. We live together. Okay. We own the home together. What happened is he was shooting a gun out here and the neighbors called. Okay. I think he has a real gun. So we pulled up and he ran inside as soon as the deputies told him to stop. Yeah. So that's why we had to open okay, the door the way sense, we did. Kid, so no I'm very, idea. very sorry to scare you. I appreciate your cooperation. I'm sorry that we and had no to. No problem. I was just working yeah. my movie. OK. All right. Well, thank you very Take much. Take him. You know thank what? you very much for your cooperation. David, do you have any idea why you're sitting in the back of this patrol car? I have no clue. No clue. OK. OK, we got a call of you standing in front of this place with a gun. A gun? Yeah. OK, you told me you were outside earlier shooting a gun, but you weren't outside tonight shooting it? No, we had a, um, we had a pellet gun. OK, OK, That's you had a fun. pellet gun outside. Yeah, that was fun. OK, d I mean, do, do we you... Were, no, my friend was firing into the ground. It was OK, like... but do you think that's a smart thing to do when there's neighbors and everything around and kids playing? Probably not. Probably not. OK, do you see that this is a very dangerous situation for me and my partners? We yeah, have no I, idea I, if I that thing understand. shoots bullets or BBs. I can understand that. OK. All right, well, you're going to jail tonight for obstructing peace officer and discharging the pellet gun, okay? Uh, obstructing a peace officer? Yeah, we gave you commands and you ignored them. No, I didn't obstruct no peace officer. Okay. Okay. No, I didn't. 
if you would have asked me, I would have opened the door and I would have, obst I wouldn't obstruct nothing. Okay. Do you know what obstructing means? No. Okay. Then how do you know you didn't do it? All right, bud. Have a good night, okay? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! He may have been wheeling the dealing all night. We don't know just yet. Did you know that car was stolen? Just ran the tag on a silver uh, four-door vehicle. Came back uh, stolen out of Palm Beach County. I'm gonna try to get up here and catch up with him. Looks like he's trying to lose me and uh, hide somewhere. The uh, Capital Circle Woodhaven. 521 foot pursuit. Foot pursuit, Leon. On Woodhaven. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Hey, Chris, I got him. Get on the ground! I got him. Get on the ground! 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 Uh, I, I, I was laying down the whole time uh, seeing that dog. Uh, Shut up. All right. Turn around. You got anything to poke me or anything while I'm sticking my palm in here? OK, look at me. Oh, no, I'm good. I don't... You don't want to talk to me? I, mean, I got a few questions to ask you. Cause oh, that, ask, ask. Where'd you get this car at? Okay. Well, why, when I pulled up behind you, did you run? Huh? Why did you run when I pulled up behind you? 344, happy Because what? Because you're a police. Did you know that car was stolen? No. You didn't know it was stolen? No. You were running the tag. The paper's in the inside. Okay. They already ran the tag. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I about to say the paper's and all in the inside. So wh wh who's your friend that gave you the car? What's that? Huh? Do you not want to talk to me at all? Mm. Look at me. Do you not want to talk to me? But he could get in trouble. He he listen, listen, partner, right now, I'm in trouble. You're yeah. in trouble. You're in possession of a stolen vehicle. You're going to go to jail for Grand Theft Auto. Do you understand that? Yeah. So unless you start talking to me. Did you know that car was stolen? I didn't. You didn't know? No, nah, bro. I ain't. Well, who's your, what's your boy's name that lets you borrow it? No? Okay. Um, due to the amount of currency on one subject, he may have been wheeling the deal all night, and we don't know just yet. Yep. You want to say anything else, man? No, I'm good. Huh? You're good? So you're going to take the ride on this uh, Grand Theft Auto charge, huh? What's up with all the money? Huh? What's up with all the money? That's something. $400. Probably not even $400. Well, what are you doing with all of it? What am I doing with it? I got a job. I work, so I don't know. Why are you driving a stolen vehicle around there? I ain't no it was stolen. All right, man. They'll take Kool-Aid packets and open them up, usually using steam, open them up, and then put drugs inside of them and reseal them. That way it conceals the drugs and looks like it's just Kool-Aid packets instead. Got in there? A little uh, portable scale. Well, that's nice. I'm good with mine. Where'd you find that? Uh, right in the uh, circle. Okay. Right underneath your chicken sandwiches. Let's go ask him about this thing. What you doing with this? Huh? You know what that is? Yeah, scale. What are you doing with the scale? Where's the dope, man? Man, ain't had no dope. You didn't dump any dope back there? Go back there, take your dog back there and everything. Do whatever you want to. I know I ain't had no dope on me. So you can go back there with your dog. Oh, that only be not came out of the bushes because the dogs scared me. I know them dogs bite, so. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I know, so that's why I gave up. So, um, I, ain't, I know I ain't had no dope on me. I just had money on me. Well, what you doing with the scale and all the money? Dog, I had $400 on me. Okay, what's up with the Kool-Aid packs? I was making Kool-Aid, and I know you see some movies, too. Go home and watch movies and drink some Kool-Aid. It's hot back here, man. All right, well, we'll get the AC turned up there for you, okay? He's got bruises. Not from me. I always ask him to stop, but it's like he he knows he has control. Come on, guys, come on! Looks like we're having some type of disturbance here at one of the local restaurants. 
Uh, possibly the male half is uh, intoxicated. I'm gonna go inside and see what's going on. Hello. Hi. Is everything okay? Well, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Can I help you? Well, I don't know. We were called out here. Some type of disturbance. You been drinking tonight, sir? Yes, I have. Yeah, is there some type of problem that we're having, or? No? Well, then how come we're getting called out here today? Oh, I don't know. The guys. So, well, I'm I here to find out. I went to the bathroom out. and I ordered my food. Okay. You didn't cause any kind of disturbance or anything like that? You're not arguing with any of the employees, or? No. We just actually paid for an extra meal. Okay. Is this your wife? Yeah. Were you guys fighting? No. So you and the wife gonna have any issues? You guys gonna be able to? She's right there. Okay. <laughs> Relax for a second. No problem. What's going on? I'm so scared. He's very aggressive when he's drinking. Okay. <laughs> and I left him. Okay. And he promised that he was gonna stop drinking. Okay. And he came home and I could smell it. Okay. And whenever I'm around him, he's mean to me. Okay. And I knew that this was my only way out. I just okay. To call it before it started. Because he assaulted you at all tonight? The other night he did, I got bruises on my chest. You got bruises on your chest? Okay. But he didn't call because he was scared. Okay. Okay, just hold tight for one minute, okay? What are you gonna do? Oh, I wanna go put him in place of my handcuffs for right now, okay? okay? Just relax. Just relax, okay? Okay, no, give me a favor. Set your wallet right here and turn around for me. Can I ask what's going on? Well, I'll, I'll inform you in a moment. Separate your feet for me, sir. What's going on? Separate your feet, Noel. I got a knife right here and a pocket knife thing. You told him to call? Thank you. Okay. Let's relax, no? All right? I did. You didn't lose your job. There goes my job. You didn't lose your job. There goes. No. No. Thank you, Amanda. Okay, come on out to the car with me. Can I ask what's going on? She's got bruises. No, she does not. Yeah, she does. Not from me. Oh, relax. Eric, your mom says I hit her. You're saying you got bruises? So. He, did, he did not hit her. Dude! Amanda, come on! Okay, they're saying last night. I didn't do that. So what happened the other night? All right, I don't have a seat. Know. What do you mean you don't Dude, know? I right, don't... Just, I'm gonna have a seat. I'm gonna give you this one last chance, Noel. Have a seat. Oh my god. Dude, I'm not that way. Okay, what happened between you and her three, four nights ago? Okay, pull your feet in. I think what happened was that basically, I mean, we had a little altercation. We had an argument, a family argument. Okay. And I might have pushed her. You don't remember whether or not you pushed no. her? She slapped you, you never punched her, you never yeah, kicked her, never knocked we, her off her feet, hit her up against the wall. I mean, the next day, dude, I mean, we were lovey-dovey. Okay. I didn't know this okay. was like this. Okay, pull your feet in, Ola. Let me go talk to her real quick, okay? Yeah. Are you looking to be a victim of domestic violence? I feel okay. I am. I'm scared every night. I don't, I'm, he wonders why I sleep on the couch and it's because I'm scared. Okay. I don't know what attitude he's going to go into. I don't, Ooh. he just like I said when you guys walked in, I had just asked him, let me drive. I think you've been drinking. I haven't been drinking, but once you walked in yeah. and you said, have you been drinking? And he says, yep. Yeah. See, he exactly. was lying to me. When, when did the altercation take place that you got the bruising Monday. from? Monday. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Just briefly explain to me. I was having a good time with the kids. He pushed me off to the side, smacked me upside the head. <laughs> he pushed me down the hall. <laughs> I asked my younger boy to grab the phone and call the cops that I was scared. And he hit me across the chest and I asked him to stop. Please stop. <laughs> I always ask him to stop, but it's like he, he knows he has control. Okay. Okay, no, like I explained to you earlier, you're gonna go down to the Victorville jail, okay? You get booked in for felony spousal abuse, okay? Now there's two sides to every story. We all go through hard times, but you got you gotta channel that another way, brother. Jose, why are you so nervous? Oh man, I don't got no cutting. In front of your pants, right there. What? What's that? Huh? Candies. Candies, huh? We just received some information about a Hispanic male named Jose in the area here at Jack Avenue. He's possibly holding narcotics on him at this time, probably crack cocaine. He's usually seen here and he's a known dealer as far as crack cocaine goes. I think this is him up here 
a straw hat riding a bicycle. It meets the description. Well, hey, I got information that you might be holding narcotics on you. No, man. You don't have any narcotics on you? No. You don't have anything in your pockets I need to know about? No. Well, hold on, hold on. I'll look real quick. Don't, don't bother answering that for just a second. Turn this way. You don't have anything in here I need to know about? No, you know needles, nothing like that? No. Okay. Well, how come somebody would call me and tell me that you have narcotics on you? No, man, I don't got no narcotics. You don't have no cocaine, cocaine on you? No. No? No. Jose, what do you got in there? Money. Money? Is it $100? Is it $500? Is it $1,000? About $5,000. About 5000 No, but no, 5000 Well, you got quite a bit on you here. Where'd you, uh, where'd you obtain all this money from? This is my money. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where, where do you work? I was a general label and I do side work, side work. General labor and side work. Yes. The denominations of this cash my money? are consistent with street level why, narcotic why, sales. Yeah, can I Give me a favor. something? Undo your belt buckle. Jose, why are you so nervous? I don't know what's. In front of your pants, right there. What? You're holding something here. I don't hold nothing in my pants. Uh, right here. Open right here. Man. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're holding something in your pants. You know what I'm saying? Man, you come on, don't hold me like this, man. So we're gonna find we're the gonna narcotics find that they were telling us that you had on you tonight? Is that what's gonna be in your pants right there? Something, some container or something, you can feel it. Got a jar full. Okay, I'm gonna get the cocaine. What's that? Huh? Candies. Candies? Candies, huh? <laughs> Funny candy, huh? You sell this candy? No. No? I smoke it. Smoke it? You smoke candy, smoke huh? Big pieces of candy. How long have you been smoking rock? I don't smoke seven, rock. Six, seven, you don't nine. smoke rock? Do you respond no. to Jack Avenue? Oh, yeah, I do. Drink. You just drink, you don't smoke rock? No, nothing. I no? Mean, you can test me, Doug. Right. OK. Well, how long you been selling rock? If you don't smoke it, you must sell it. No. Nope. Well, it appears that way. Normal rock user doesn't carry around this much. All right, you got a bottle uh, somewhat full of rock cocaine. A little bit over thirteen hundred dollars. Thirteen hundred. I'm gonna bring the canine down here. I'm gonna hide the money. Let the canine. Yeah, that'll work. You can't take my money. I can't take your money. No. We're gonna test sense. your candy. Make sure yeah. it's just candy, huh? How much do you sell each piece of candy for? I don't sell any candy. You don't, you don't sell, sell any candy? Them. Looks like you do. Test positive for cocaine, your candy. Yeah. So I guess we can call it candy cocaine? Yeah, OK. Yeah, that's you. That's your job. So you're the candy cocaine man. Candy cane. Uh, I can't put my mind. No, we're not going to use the phone right now, no. Why do you carry so much raw cocaine? Why are you carrying that? Because sometimes I want to smoke. Sometimes you want to smoke. Yeah, I got it. OK. Hey, uh, where's my money? We're going to hide the money on a vehicle that hasn't had any narcotics in it. Uh, let the narcotics canine walk around the vehicle and uh, see if the dog alerts on the money. The bad news is the dog alerted on your money. There's, yeah. there's cocaine on that money. Uh, I don't think so. OK. It's, it's $1,355. Is that what you know it as? Do you remember the amount? No, yeah. OK, we're going to seize that money because it has narcotics on it. Now we're going to transport you to the jail for possession with intent to sell. 